first of all, my condolences to George Floyd's family who lost him in this criminality that was exercised by one out of control police officer who will face justice for his crimes. Nonetheless, I believe that these riots since its inception did not begin at a grassroots level. They had to be organizations behind it, taking advantage of a crisis as Democrats are known to do. Democrats behind these groups are the reason why these riots are getting out of control. And as you can see here on the screen, the gatewaypundit.com covers it very well. You will not find this type of information on the news media, not even from Fox. And as you see the headline there, as we suspected, groups behind the riots include domestic terrorists, Black Lives Matter, U.S. Islamicists, and others linked to the Democratic Party. I'm going to scroll so you can see the other captions and what this website has stated here, factually true and unbiased. We reported a couple days ago that recent riots in the U.S. and many Democratic cities around the country are hardly spontaneous. They appear coordinated. Now, one thing to note, all the riots are taking place in Democratic part in Democratic cities, not in Republican cities. And I'm not saying anything to Republican as in defending the Republican Party, but of those cities and states that are led by Republicans have none of these issues arising within them. It is only in the Democratic cities. And this further plunges the community into poverty, into a class war. This is destroying the inner cities and destroying the kind-hearted, hard-working people that inhabit the inner cities who want to try to get ahead, who want to try to work for a living and support their families. They have no part of this, but they're being overrun as well because they don't have the power to start up a group of people to defend themselves from this. As you see here, we suspected these riots were related to the same individuals involved in similar activities over the past year or years. These people were related to U.S.-based Islamist organizations, domestic terrorists, and others related to the Democratic Party. We were right. Now, a lot of people, I'm going to focus here on the Islamist organizations and how so many Americans, especially in the Democratic cities, are being deceived into thinking that the Islamists are going to to assimilate and be your friend and your neighbor. But they're lying to you and they are able to lie to you based on one of their tenets of beliefs, takiya, that allows them to lie to the infidel in order to gain the upper hand. And it's okay before Allah to lie because the infidel is worthless in their eyes. So therefore they will tell you they're your friends. They will act like they're uh, going to participate in some friendly type of relationship, but nonetheless, the underground motive, underlying motive and intent is to take over and control. This is nothing new. Many people have covered this. You can find it on many other social media platforms. They are practicing tequila in every democratic city. This says there clearly was no reason for the mass riots taking place around the country after the death of the individual at the hands of the police in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Everyone who saw the police brutality was appalled and outraged at the sight of the policeman kneeling on the victim's neck for an incredibly long period of time. The man died, but nothing warrants the wholesome destruction of property and riots around U.S. since that event. Even you see the other caption there trending in New York City, de Blasio's daughter, Kiara, arrested for blocking traffic in Manhattan. And then he has here subpoints here. 
here's who we predicted were involved in what we know we now know we know now domestic terrorists across the country we have seen numerous incidents of domestic terrorists tearing big cities apart in portland oregon antifa showed up as we suspected in boston more mass rioters the same in washington dc where antifa set a church on fire and attacked the people's house the white house so they they set a church on fire when how does this honor george floyd because it is said and documented with actual images that George Floyd partook in Christian missions in Houston. And his, he's known for helping that community, which was a difficult community as far as poverty and crime. There was this man helping others to try to find a better way in their lives, pointing them to Christ at one time in his life. I don't know what happened from that point to where he found himself in Minneapolis. I don't have anything to say other than he was involved in Christian work. Christian work has nothing to do with Antifa, Black Lives Matter, or any Islamist organization. So how is this grassroots? How is this? This is not for him. This is for them to destabilize the country. Listen to this. In Santa Monica, Antifa set a police car on fire and chased the police away. U.S.-based radical Islamists in L.A. rioters vandalized the Jewish synagogue and then came back later in the night to burn it down. In Minnesota, the governor's daughter and Il Ilhan Omar's daughter were both sharing intel with rioters. Here's the picture of Tim Waltz, Hope, and Ilhan and her daughter. It's terrible what's happening, man. These are not Americans. These are not American people who want the prosperity of this nation they don't want to see black americans and white americans together they want the divide they want the racism to be at the forefront because that's what they use to inject their ideology into people's hearts and minds and get them into a class warfare in new york city the mayor's daughter is involved in the protest uh, Democratic Speaker Nancy Pelosi refused to condemn the looters and rioters. She just attacked the president. Democrat uh, presidential candidate Joe Biden looked weak while meeting with members of Black Lives Matter when just a few weeks ago, how stupid can we be? Just a few weeks ago, he said, if you're if you don't vote for me, you're not black. I mean, that's that alone is a slap in the face face. And then he did it on the breakfast club to a black American. If I was that breakfast breakfast club host i would i would never vote democratic again at least 13 joe biden staffers donate group supporting violent minnesota looters and rioters it is clear that the recent riots around the country are not spontaneous they are coordinated and, and planned there's a very high probability these riots are related to the same individuals involved in similar activities over the past year it's becoming clear these people are related to U.S.-based Islamist organizations, domestic terrorists, and others related to the Democratic Party. These people hate America, and that is true. And when you look at the Antifa, they were black Americans and white Americans. It, it wasn't just all black Americans. This is a well-funded group designed to destabilize the country. Look no further than Venezuela. It happened there. Also, if you see here, they cover a lot of different things on this uh, website that I would recommend for you to read. There was one that was terrible, this one right here, in Rochester, New York. Uh, Rochester police released new video of savage beating of a woman by Black Lives Matter and Antifa. You don't hear that on the news. Listen, look, look at this guy. Well, able-bodied man with a two-by-four beating down a woman. A woman who's smaller than he is. I mean, look at look at this. Look at the video here. It's so disturbing. It doesn't make sense. How is this honoring George Floyd? Look at the look at the woman. She's so small and petite in comparison to these guys. And they just want to ransack the business. She's trying to defend her business. And because she stands there, one of the guys, one of the other guys decides to hit her. It's just, this is, this is not, this is not a grassroots 
American protest. Look at this. It's hard to watch. These are not fellow countrymen. People of God, Christian brother, sister, I'm a Puerto Rican man. I would never lend my energies to these types of groups, no matter what they say in order to justify their actions in regards to racism. Yes, I am appalled and against the murder of George Floyd and many other people that, you, uh, that are not black American. There's been many other people at the hands of the police that have died in a very brutal way. But there's so much more to this. There are also good police officers out there. Some of them are Christian. And you just can't paint a broad brush on the whole department. And, you know, there's racism in every society. You're never going to get rid of racism. The only one who could get rid of that is Jesus Christ. And that's when he returns. It's not going to happen while we're here. It's not going to happen. It, there's always going to be racism. Within my own community of Puerto Ricans, I grew up as a dark-skinned Puerto Rican man treated in a, in a racist way by light-skinned Puerto Ricans. It happens in Dominican Republic. It happens in Spain. It happens to all types of communities. It's not just a, an America situation. It's a worldwide epidemic of racism, and it's the reason the reason for it is because of sin. Since sin entered the world, through one man and death through sin. And in this way, death passed upon all men because all have sinned. And the only remedy for our sinful state is Jesus Christ. Jesus is the only one. I went to a Bible college and I was treated in a racist way by one of the professors who was white American. I never fought back, never brought attention to it, but I treated him in a Christian manner of love and forgiveness. And at the end of my time in college the man became a friend to me and he stopped treating me badly because i believe the holy spirit of god convicted him for his racist actions towards me and god delivered him and changed him from it and he after some time stopped treating me in a bad way and stopped treat he stopped treating others in a bad way and the others were puerto ricans they were never black americans that he was treating badly so there's racism everywhere. As Christians, we should not throw our lot or connect or share anything that any of these groups represent. Taking advantage of a poor man's loss of life at the hands of a brutal, uncaring police officer is not the way to honor him or his family. May God bless George Floyd's family and Christian beware. Don't even lend any support to these groups. You lend support to them by sharing their post, by sharing their ideology under the justification of that you're fighting racism. Don't do it because you're playing into the hands of the enemy who's part of those groups. They're devilish and demonic and destructive as you see the results all over the cities of the Democratic-run cities. This is Noel from Against All Hope Ministries. God bless you.